In this brief video, we will cover the basics of running a JMeter load test on Redline 13. Before we get started, I want to review the key elements of the Redline 13 architecture. Starting from the bottom left, in the yellow box, you have prepared your JMeter test plan, which normally runs on your local machine. If you are not running your test in the cloud, this would be the traditional way to execute your load test using one or more local machines. When you run your test on Redline 13, however, you upload your test to our service, which not only provides infrastructure to capture metrics, but also runs your test on multiple cloud-based load generator servers. This allows you to achieve effortless and massive scale against your target test application. Now back to Redline 13. After logging in, click on Start New Test. We offer several different test types, but today we will be covering JMeter tests, so that is what we will select. You'll need to have your JMeter test plan ready. You can upload your JMX file here. There are a few more basic options, such as the version number, which should match the version of JMeter you used to create your test plan. There is also the number of servers selection box. This is where you can specify how many parallel instances of your test you would like to run. We will cover some of the more advanced cloud options and JMeter test options in another video. At this point, you can click on Start Test. It will take a few minutes for your test to begin. While your test is running, results will begin to stream in real time. Once your test completes, summary metrics will appear. These are useful to see at a glance the outcome of your load test. All of your results will also be available in the form of tables and time-based graphs. Here are a few examples of the types of results we will collect and display. These results will also be stored and organized by test name and date so that you can refer back to them later at any time. 